Hey, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see how you can remove a section from your photo and then put the photo back together with that part out of it. First, I'm going to open my window a little so that I can see the edges of my photo. Now I'm going to go over to the toolbox and choose the rectangular marquee tool. I want to take the door section out of this photo, so I need to select the areas I want to keep in the photo and put them on their own layer. First I'll select the left side and include everything from top to bottom and bring the selection right over to the edge of the door. I'm kind of looking at the top of that door overhang and also I'm looking at the tip of the shoe there. I don't want to cut the toe of that shoe off, so I'll go over to about here. Now in my Layers palette, on the Mac I'm going to press Command-J. On PC it would be Control-J. And as you can see, that put that selected area on its own layer. So now I'm going to go over to the right side of the image and select from top to bottom and go over to the door overhang in this selection but also I want to try to get in between the vertical line on the siding of the building so that it makes a more natural transition. Even though I have a little of the overhang included in the selection that's fine I can clean that up later. So now I'll Command or Control J that to its own layer. And I get this alert message that no pixels were selected. And that's because I was still on layer 1 in my layers palette. I need to go back to my background layer to grab those pixels. I'll go there and then Command Control J again. And now in the layers panel I'm going to turn off the visibility of the background layer so you can see the two layers and the missing piece. Now I'm going to go to layer 2 which is the right side of the photo and in the toolbox select my move tool and just click and drag that over to meet the other side of the photograph and they kind of snap together and I'm going to go up to the options bar and uncheck show bounding box. Now basically we have our image without the door in it but it still needs a little work. It doesn't look quite natural because the right side is a little brighter than the left side and we also have a seam where the two meet in the grass mostly is where you can see that. So first I'm going to take care of the brightness aspect. What I'm going to do is try to darken the right side of the photo. So I'm going to go to layer 2 where the right side is. Select that and then go up to the enhance menu. Go to adjust lighting and choose levels and that will bring up my levels dialog box. Now I'm just going to do a visual adjustment on that layer. So if I slide the center arrow over to the right, you can see that it darkens up the image a bit. See the before and after. And that helps a little bit. So I'll say OK to that. First of all, I'm going to crop away this transparent area that we don't need anymore. In the toolbox, I'll select the Crop tool and then just click and drag and then click on the green checkbox. Now I need to clean up the seam where the two sides meet. So I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit and I want to make sure I'm on my top layer and I'm going to choose the Clone Stamp tool and in my Options bar I want to make sure that Sample All Layers is checked. Now 
Now the way the clone stamp tool works is you hold down the option key on the Mac, the alt key on the PC, and the cursor will change into a bullseye. And while you have the option or alt key held down, you click with your mouse and it samples that area of the photo. And you can also adjust the size of your brush with your left and right bracket keys. So I if I want my brush to be bigger, I'll just tap my right bracket key a few times. Those bracket keys are the ones that are located right next to the p letter P on your keyboard. Okay, so let's work on the seam a little bit. I'm going to make my brush so it's just a little bigger than the seam. And the grass already looks pretty good, but let's break it up a little bit. So I'm going to sample here and then paint. And it's good to sample different areas so it looks more natural. You don't want to get repeating lines. That's a dead giveaway of a clone. And this rock, I'll just sample here and then maybe try to extend it over and maybe we can kind of round it off a little bit. Just do whatever you can to break it up and make it look more natural. I think that looks okay on the ground. This seam looks a little heavy right here. I think I'm going to try to sample maybe a seam from over here and just bring that bring that down there. Add a little more grass over on that side. This area right here is the excess overhang from that door. I'm going to make my my brush size a little bigger and I'm going to try to go right underneath that and click and then try to go straight up and clone that out. Try to get rid of these dark areas too here so I'll sample there. See if I can maybe take from up here. Now let's go back to 100% view. Not too bad. There's a little variation between the two sides where they meet, but, but that's the basic idea. You select the areas that you want to keep and put those to their own layer and then merge them together and clean them up a little bit where they meet and you should be good to go. I'm Rick from Essential Photoshop Elements. Make sure to go to my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com where you'll find a lot more free information on how to use Photoshop Elements. Until next time, take care.